Hello, fellow pet lovers. How in the world are you? Today we're going to talk about raising puppies. Hello, folks. It's me, Dr. B. Today we're going to continue the story of Mesmerize and her four puppies. As you recall, Mesmerize is our four year old Bernie's Mountain Dog. Her pregnancy was very normal, but the week before her due date, her appetite plummeted. She seemed restless. She was a little more touchy than I expected, but appetite fluctuations and behavioral changes are normal in bitches just before they're going to whelp. I ran a bunch of tests. Her blood tests were normal except for a mild anemia. The puppy's uh, heart rates, which we monitor routinely, were strong and everything on paper seemed okay, but she just didn't look right to me. I elected to do an early cesarean section about two days before the puppies were due. Her surgery presented a significant complication. I found myself facing her right uterine horn, which had tores, that is, it had twisted. The blood supply had been cut off and that organ essentially had died. It was an ugly, purple, gangrenous mass that had been seeping toxins into her system for the past few days and was obviously the the reason for her crummy feeling and condition for the last few days up until this point. She was now in toxic shock and fighting for her life in the middle of this major procedure. If we had waited until she had gone to term, we would have surely lost her and we would have lost the puppies as well because of the toxic effects of the gangrenous tissue. I removed the toxic tissue, performed a hysterectomy, and we were rewarded with getting her off the table, getting her in the recovery, and within 12 to 24 hours she was licking her puppies and acting like a fantastic mother. Well, if that wasn't enough, on day two post-op, she precipitated with a immunologic hemolytic anemia, that is, her immune system was identifying her red blood cells as foreign and clobbering them, kind of bleeding internally within the veins, within the arteries, within her bloodstream itself. Um, so she became critically anemic again. Fortunately, she responded to aggressive medical therapy. The condition didn't stop her from maintaining a keen interest in her puppies and a willingness and eagerness to lick them and nurture them and uh, mother them and protect them. The puppies needed a mother and the mother needed an outlet for her nurturing instincts. I believe that that synergistic relationship was a primary factor in her recovery. Through all of this the puppies weren't spared the ordeal. Their mother had no milk no colostrum, they had no antibodies to get that would support them for their early days and weeks. Um, all of this was supplemented artificially by us. Uh, their soul food and their nutritional supply 24-7 would now come from bottle feeding when they were weak, uh, even tube feeding. Uh, the first complication was that the puppies had significant diarrhea they failed to respond to our early efforts and at about day seven, poor little yellow girl developed colic. Colic or ileus, which is a better medical term, is a condition in which the intestinal tract stops its normal peristaltic activity, becomes flaccid, becomes dilated, and um, in general becomes sick and saggy. The, the, the intestinal tract will develop gas. Uh, the puppies will come, become bloated, pain, distress would result. The little yellow girl was first followed by uh, the boys one at a time over a very brief period. Uh, all four puppies were crying and distressed and um, this condition is no fun but it will respond uh, to appropriate therapy which they did but in the ensuing process, the little yellow girl became progressively weaker. She inhaled fluid, probably formula, 
and developed an aspiration or inhalation pneumonia. This type of pneumonia is extremely serious because its primary root isn't bacterial or infectious or contagious or treatable. It's from foreign material where it gets in the lungs and creates a very serious problem. Despite all of my efforts, after 40 hours of intensive care, a little yellow girl passed into eternity. Fortunately, the three boys, red, white, and blue, improved. Their diarrhea corrected, they stabilized, they became stronger, and all seemed well in the household at that time. What possibly could go wrong? Surely nothing. Well, it turned out that constipation was around the corner. I was pretty happy with their situation until one night, about 10 p.m., little red boy started screaming just like his sister had of the week prior. Of course, the father and me immediately panicked, but fortunately, the veterinarian and me took over. The diagnosis this time turned out to be constipation, but he was having breathing difficulty also at the same time. In retrospect, it was probably from the pain and cramping. But I started with oxygen and pain medication and appropriate stuff to relieve the, the constipation, which would have been some oral medication, some injectable medication, um, injectable fluids, and of course, uh, some very mild, very conservative, but hopefully very effective uh, enemas. The other two boys weren't spared. One by one, they too started crying and developed um, cramping and severe straining uh, with the, uh, this constipation episode that we were experiencing. When the smoke cleared in the morning after a very rough night, the flag was still flying over red, white, and blue puppy. Now it's been two days since that crisis and the boys are nursing and gaining weight and seemingly out of the woods. What's next in this saga of Mesmerize and her four puppies? God knows I don't. But I know that we're going to continue to fight the battle and do everything possible that we can to support uh, these three little guys and mom. Just this morning, Mesmerize started vomiting for no apparent reason, and her appetite seemed to fall off again dramatically. We started some more tests, and those results are still pending. We'll see how well she progresses in the next few days. I want to thank all of you that have sent your notes and comments and prayers uh, to us during this time. I appreciate all of you very, very much. If you haven't subscribed, please do so with the link on your buttons below so you won't miss any of her upcoming updates and progress. Thank you. So that's all for today. It's me, Dr. B, signing off. If you've enjoyed today's video, please like it and share it with your friends. And subscribe so we can stay in touch. Have a great happy day.